Hey, good morning, VPA family and VPA friends. We, we just love having you. And yes, please feel free to drop us a line. Let us know how these three devotions have been a blessing to you. This week, we're looking at Genesis chapter 13. And I'm just looking at verse 14 and some verses just around there. Hear what it says in verse 14. After Lot had gone, the Lord said to Abraham, Look as far as you can see in every direction north and south, east, east and west. I am giving all this land as far as you can see to you and your descendants as a permanent possession, as a permanent possession. And I will give you as many, so many descendants that like the dust of the earth, they cannot be counted. Go and walk through the land in every direction for I am giving it to you. So Abram, Move this camp to Hebron, settled near the oak grove, belonging to Mamre. There he built an altar to the Lord. So this morning, I just want you to say, I wanted to communicate. When people leave the closeness of the relationship, sometimes in that space, God speaks. It does not have to be animosity or it doesn't have to be purposeful leaving. When you look at Lot and Abraham, family members, close family members, Abraham was Lot's uncle and, and he felt responsible for Lot. And so Lot has been with Abraham from a child, but because God was with Abraham, Lot received cons, uh, blessings commensurate with the relationship. So while the promise was never given to Lot, but because he remained with the person who received the promise, when God says, who, who bless you, uh, he will bless, Lot fell right within that category. But it's only when Lot left, God is now coming back to not only rehearse the promise, but now to give some specific information regarding the promise. And sometimes that's what we need. Uh, in the moment where the person is now moving away from the closeness of the relationship, now in that space, God begins to speak. And sometimes we need to hear what God is saying because not only will he rehearse the promise, he will also give some further information and give some, uh, some other directives so that we're able to fulfill the purpose that he is calling us to. So as you walk out today, as you, as you worship today, as you find your space with God today, and as you walk out into a world that God is asking us to change and to make uh, indelible marks in this world, what is God saying? Because in the midst of the missing, in the midst of the distancing, God is still rehearsing his will, speaking clearly, giving further directives, and he's directing you and I into the domain that he wants us to be. And I wanted to appreciate, tomorrow morning we'll talk about how much does God really give Abraham and the impact of that, but I wanted to leave with you, don't wish those who are leaving you ill or bad, because sometimes it's that move that allows God to, God to speak in the distancing, and sometimes in the interval, we thank God for it. Amen.